Welcome to Breeze. Today, a bit of a rant, I'm afraid. Philips X2 Fidelio's Glue Gazi, I'm afraid. Yeah, Glue Gate happened. There was me thinking it was only the Americans that were going to get hit by this in their little $200 sale, but um, nope, I got the same. Ordered from Amazon.co.uk on 21st December. Arrived. Didn't have any other problems, they looked fine in the box, box was sealed, verified the serial number, definitely legit box. It was the um, X2 slash 00 variant. But the ear cups were glued on, big time glued on. So I gave Philips a call, UK Philips, uh, they're based in Greece funnily enough and I gave them a call. They told me, after doing probably 20 minutes of research, that in no way should these be removed and that they are not a removable feature of this headphone. I thought that was a bit strange. I seem to remember reading somewhere that it was. But you know what? When I googled, I couldn't find anywhere that said that it was removable. So I gave up, really, and thought maybe the guy was, uh, was telling the truth. Do you know what? It says it on the front of the box. Unbelievable. Just goes to show, read the manual, read the box. Says it on the front of the box that these cups are indeed removable. So I gave Philips a call back. And they tell me, fair enough, okay. All they can do is escalate it and get back to me after Christmas. So for me, that weren't good enough. Back in the box they went off to Amazon for a refund. <sighs> Such a shame. So looking forward to it. I'm using 650s, HD 650s at the moment, but I'm starting to get... More into electronic, more into bass music, a bit of dance, so I thought this might curb the slight lack of bass from the 650s. But um, unfortunately, glue gate happened. And you know what? It's gone viral. Let's have a look up here. Here we go. Customer services session with Philips in the US. From what I can see, this product may not be legitimate, so I'd advise you to go through Amazon Custom Protection as soon as possible. Okay. Now, I, I do think they are legitimate because they verified my serial number and all was fine. Maybe changing manufacturing, changing plan, an error, a bad batch. Philips don't actually sell replacement ear pads for them, so maybe they just decided to give up on that feature and just glue them on. And maybe they do sound perfect, but I don't know because I don't have a pair of non-glued to try and compare against. So I can't take the risk that my 300 quid is buying any kind of a lesser headphone because I don't know. I don't know whether that's to be the case, but certainly you guys are chiming in. Guys in Europe, America, the problem seems to be everywhere. Some more here. More problems, more problems, more problems. My advice, keep an eye on the forums. Keep an eye out, see if there's going to be any kind of announcement from Philips, which I doubt there will be. Maybe wait for the X3s, apparently just around the corner. Who knows? If you've got any other headphones you guys can recommend me, open headphones with a little bit of bass, let me know. I tried the 990s. Bear Dynamics 990s, my god, that nearly put a hole through my head with a treble, so I don't want to go down that road. But if you've got any other suggestions, do let me know. Leave comments, give it a thumbs up. But for now, it's been emotional.